in our previous chapter we have learned about conventional sources of energy we have also learned if we are using conventional sources of energy at an alarming rate it will be getting exhausted so people started to think for an alternative which we can use relatively for a longer period of time after a study on this human came up with non conventional sources of energy so what are non conventional sources of energy energy sources which are based on advanced technologies are called non conventional sources of energy for example nuclear energy solar energy etc here in this lesson let's discuss about some of the non conventional sources of energy let's start with solar energy as we know sun is the main source of energy for all living beings on the earth even the energy from the fossil fuel came from the sun technologies have been developed to harness the massive amount of solar energy let's discuss some application of solar energy one of the most important application of harnessing solar energy is solar cooker solar cooker is very simple in design and mode of function it is usually made of plain mirrors plain mirrors are kept in rectangular box the light reflected from the plain mirror concentrates the solar energy inside the solar cooker and generates enough heat to cook food and the most important application of solar energy of harnessing solar energy is solar cell solar cell is made of silicon the solar panel converts the solar energy into electrical energy and stored it in a battery for a later use these are some of applications of solar energy at the same time there are some limitations also the technologies for harnessing solar energy are at an early stage so right now it is not cost effective now we know solar energy is a non conventional source of energy its applications its advantages and limitations another most common non conventional source of energy is energy from ocean energy from oceans what all are they they are tidal energy wave energy and ocean thermal energy let's discuss them one by one let's start with tidal energy we all know tides happen near the sea shore water rushes up near the sea shore during a high tide and runs back during a low tide dams are built near the sea shore to collect water during a high tide when the water runs back to the ocean the kinetic energy of the flow of water is used to rotate the turbine to produce electricity another method of using energy from sea is wave energy wave is a good source of energy many devices are designed and tested to produce wave energy for example a hollow tower when the water gushes into the tube the wave because of the wave it forces the air to move upwards the kinetic energy of the air in the upward direction is used in running the turbine when the wave goes down the air also goes down which is also used in running the turbine to generate electricity the next form of non conventional source of energy which we can use from sea is ocean thermal energy the water at sea surface is hot during day time while the water at lower level is cold this temperature difference can be used to generate energy if the temperature difference is more than 20 degrees celsius we can utilize ocean thermal energy for this a volatile liquid like ammonia is boiled using the heat of hot water at the surface the steam produced by the volatile liquid is used to run the turbine to generate electricity here in this lesson we have learned about non conventional sources of energy and we have also learned how we can harness non conventional sources of energy